What's going on, everybody? Eric Stubblefield Jr. here, a.k.a. Fat Man Collectibles. Got an exciting video for you today. Really excited. <laughs> I've never been this excited about a toy before, but I was able to finally, finally get my hands on Oh yes, oh yes, oh yeah. Oh. For those of you that don't know what that is, that is the Hyper Real Darth Vader by Star Wars The Black Series. We'll go into all the details about it uh, when we get the close-up look at them. Really excited for this figure. Uh, I was actually able to find him on Amazon for $74.99, and that's cheaper because he's usually retailing for about $80 to $90. At GameStop, he was retailing for $90. Bucks. And the reason why I made it a point for me to get my hands on this guy was because when I went to GameStop looking for him, they said that he was delisted, which means that they will not be receiving any shipments with him in them anymore. So... Basically, they're not shipping this guy anymore. So I was able to find him on Amazon, $74.99. If you're still looking for him, it's a good place to look. They still got him in stock. Next day delivery, which was amazing, by the way. First time I've had next day delivery with Amazon. Fantastic. So, enough of me rambling away. I know you guys are like, Eric, just get to the review. Okay, I'm going to get to the review. I promise, I'm sorry, rambling on again. So, before we do that, you know, repping Colorado, Colorado strong, baby. Greatest state in the world. So, stay tuned, and we'll get into the review. Fat Man Collectibles. All right, so the Hyper Real Darth Vader. I have not taken him out the box yet because I just want to say, just look at how pretty this box is. Okay, this thing is huge. Got the little window on the side. You can see his face right there. But this Velcro, it opens up on the front and folds out. Sorry for the glare, it's dark outside. But you have the figure here in this window. You have a page not really a page but you know what i mean with different pictures of him like the, the different poses that you can get him into and then you have all his accessories so his extra hands there's a little blast effect his lightsabers in his hand already so i just want to show off this box i think this is the prettiest box as you can see hasbro disney hyper real darth vader All right, so let's get him out the box. Let's get a closer look at Vader. All right, and here he is out of the box. I kept him in a cool little... If only you knew the true power of the dark side pose. Pretty much the pose he was in in the box. Um, just two little minor complaints out of the box. Two little small ones. We'll get into those when we get a closer look at him. But first... Let's look at all of his accessories that he comes with. So, first one I'm going to show you, which is the coolest thing, is this blast effect. Okay? And this blast effect is really cool. It's like a little translucent white. Okay? And if you can see, there's a little handprint in the back with a peg. So, it's for his right hand. The uh, get out my way hand, and as you can see, there's a little pig hole in the palm. Which well, let me just start off by saying these hands are sculpted really nice, they look like leather gloves. So, what you do is you'll just line up the hand with the handprint, put the peg in, and then boom, you got a blast effect. What is that? What is that? Didn't notice that. Oh. Some fabric. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. And it stays on there. 
pretty good. So if you have him on display with his hand, pushing that out like that, shouldn't have to worry about it falling off. So that's one hand that he comes with. So he comes with four right hands, five total, and three left hands, four total. So the right hands that he comes with is that one for the blast effect. This one little, like, go over there, pointing, picking his nose hand. Another one, which I'm assuming is his force choke. Yeah. I always thought he did it like this, but I guess that might be more accurate. And then a good lightsaber gripping hand. No, no. Focus on the hand. There we go. Because the left hand that he has on right now doesn't really grip the lightsaber very well. Um, it kind of just falls out like that. Um, so I'll, I'll be excited to change that out. It just sucks. I wish they included those hands for each side not just the right hand because i think he looks cool pumping his right fist and he got the saber in his left hand that's just me that's just my opinion so for his left hands we did get a booty clenching hand oh yeah if pat may was still alive he'd be all clenching that booty another point in hand Booger picking. Mm. And then a fist. So the hands that we didn't get for the left hand, we didn't get the blast effect hand for the left hand. We did not get a force choking hand and we did not get a lightsaber, a good lightsaber holding hand. So last but not least, his lightsaber, which mine came out the box a little warped. But, I mean, that's nothing that a little heat can't fix. You can see it's kind of bent right there. Good details on this. I think the paint application could have been a little better just because of how much we're paying for it. Yeah, look at that bend. I guess that kind of straightened it out. It's not really the blade, per se. Blade's pretty much straight. It's the hilt that's crooked. But yeah, like I said, paint apps on this could have been a little better. Just because it's supposed to be a premium action figure. And it's cool, the blade pops out. Because if you wanted to, you see a little hook right there? You would take it, and there's a little hook on the left side of his belt. You put that on there, and then bam. Now he has his lightsaber on his hip. So, enough about the accessories. Let's get a closer look at Vader. I mean, shall we? The Dark Lord himself? You bet we will. So I didn't say while I was looking at the lightsaber, my first little gripe was that his lightsaber showed up bent like that. He's packed in there pretty well. So I, I guess I just don't know why he was bent. Another gripe is, if you can see on his helmet, my man got scuffs on his helmet. How do you get scuffs on the helmet? But look how shiny it is. You can see me. See my reflection in there. The armor is shiny. Okay. Armor is really shiny. The rubber on this is nice. Look at all the detail. His shin guards are shiny. It's... Look at the detail on this. So, what's the big deal about these type of real figures? So, what Hasbro did was they, they developed a metal skeleton that has pretty much all the points of articulation in it. And what they did was they molded this suit on top of that metal skeleton with 
different materials like rubber and silicone and everything like that to basically give you a premium looking action figure with no visible joints. He's seamless. So if you were just taking pictures of this, if you got the angle just right, you think it was from the movie. That's what kind of details on this figure, and it I am just impressed. I am speechless, beyond impressed. Now I don't own any hot toys. But if this is on par with hot toys, I'm gonna keep buying these because I'd rather spend $75-90 dollars on a premium action figure as opposed to paying two two fifty for something. I get it, hot toys are a little bigger, details probably better, but looking at this guy in person, the camera doesn't do him any justice. You have to pick this guy up and see him in person. If you're a Star Wars fan, not even a toy collector, if you're a Star Wars fan, this is just a great display piece. I just love this figure. It's got good weight to it. He comes with a stand, which is like the uh, part of the... Gosh, what is it? Sorry, slipped my mind. Uh, the, the carbonite chamber where Han Solo got frozen in carbonite. The stand is like that. It comes with these little pegs that you can switch into the holes. Comes with three of them. When you first get it, they'll all be down here. Why it comes with three, don't know. But it's cool because this is the Darth Vader from The Empire Strikes Back. And I heard that the next figure in this line is going to be Luke from The Empire Strikes Back. So that'll be exciting. I'm going to have to pick that guy up. He comes out in May. My birthday time. Woo, 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 woo. So, let's jump into the articulation really fast. So, his head is going to go side to side. You can get him down, up, but Vader doesn't really look down and up. Uh, you can't really tilt it to the side. His shoulder pieces are on, they're not on hinges, but they move. So, when you're moving his arm, you can get it up about that far when you got it down you can bring it forward like that back it's kind of crooked going back but so you got swivel up top elbows Come up about that high. Sorry, he's just... He's stiff, but it's a good stiff. You know? Um, his middle does move. You got a little bit of ab crunch. Down, up. Uh, let's go down to his legs. You don't really have any swivel up top in the thigh. But down here does move quite a bit. Not really on the, yeah, there we go. Not really on the left side, but. And then his ankles do hinge side to side, forward, back, down. And his knees, you can kick him up about that far. His legs can come up about that far so you can. get him like this the, the cape is just made out of great material feels really premium really nice and soft wonder if he'll stand or, or if he's too heavy he might be too heavy yeah he can't stay up he's too heavy so you'd have to get a good action figure uh, stand for that. So 
So there's that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful figure. So, in the end, all in all, is this guy Fat Man certified? No doubt. No doubt. I am excited for this line. I'm going to buy them all. I don't care how much it costs. This is the best action figure I own. This is one of the nicest, if not the nicest product I've ever seen from Hasbro. Whoever thought of this idea, awesome. Now, one gripe people might have about this is the the silicone and everything that's like wrapped around the inner skeleton can kind of hinder his movement a little bit. Like, like what I'm saying is basically, so you got his leg up like this. And you want his knee to go down. See how it moves back? It does that. So, I mean, that's that's a gripe that you could have with this guy. But it doesn't really bother me. So, all in all, well done, Hasbro. Well done, I'm excited for more Hyper Real to come out. Oh, yeah, I think that's all I have for you all today. So, hey, like always, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Check out some more videos on my channel. Got more content coming. Got the Walgreens exclusive Gogeta to compare with the other Gogeta Dragon Stars. That's probably going to be the next video. I still have the Cycle Red. Lost Galaxy 2-pack that needs to be reviewed. I'm going to take a look at those Funko Pops that I picked up the other day. Goldar. And I was able to get my hands on the Legacy Collection Blue Cycle Ranger. So that comparison is going to be coming up soon. Got a lot of content headed your way. Remember, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications so you can know whenever I upload a video. This is Fat Man Collectible signing out. See you all in the next one. Hey everybody, Fat Man Collectibles here. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything you want to see me review, action figures, books, comic books, even movies or TV shows, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get that review up for you. Again, thank you all for joining me. See you in the next one.